Come on, this is Sunday morning. You in the house. He's worthy. He's worthy. Come with this worship again. Come on. Come on. Come on, just worship. Just worship. Just worship. Just worship. Just worship. Just worship. Hold you when you pray. decided I was going to uh, sell pop bottles. Back in that day you could sell pop bottles and get you a dime or a nickel or something. So I'm selling pop bottles and, and I'm asking people for a dollar and two dollars and ten dollars and eight dollars and I was cutting yards and went cut one lady's yard and she gave me some a bowl of beans. Uh, uh, no, we need some money. But anyway, I had my eye on this bike, and, and um, my, um, I called my cousin, uh, Coco and Glenda. And uh, I told them, hey, I, I need like 40, 50, 60 more dollars where I can get this bike. And I'll do anything. I'll cut the yard, paint the house, huh? anything. And so Coco came and got me, and we went to the house, and I cut the yard. I want you to everything I'm saying, because I'm going somewhere with this. And so when we get there, the, uh, the place where I got the bike was called Vendables. Vendables. Bikes. So we get to the place, and I had all my little money wadded up, all my little nickels and dimes and quarters and dollars and, and half dollars. And, and I'm, uh, I'm just so excited. And so I, t t I took the money and put it out on the counter, and the man said, <laughs> I wasn't offended because I'm finna get my bike. And so Coco took, took that money, and, and, and uh, he, 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 he took the money and gave it back to me and threw the credit card on the, on the uh, counter and paid for it. Boy, I was so excited and happy. Wow. So, a couple of weeks later, I'm, I was, was over to my girlfriend's house. I'm very particular about this bike because it cost me something. Whew. So it was it just, it wasn't, it, it, I appreciate it because I remembered all them pop bottles and, and all them yards. And I, me I remember the bowl of beans that I got. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. So when I got, up, got over there, I, I said, I'm going to put the bike by Jock. Jock was a pit bull. 
So if I put the bike by jock, ain't nobody going to mess with it. Y'all ain't going to say her. So it's time to go home. It's like 930. I went out there. And jock is laying in the same spot he was laying in when I went in the house. But the bike is gone. Gone. I was hurt. Because this cost me something. Y'all ain't, y'all, y'all not, y'all not, y'all not hearing me. It cost me something. My bike is gone. Two weeks later, I was at Utotem on 36th Street. Y'all know about that. That was my bike. That was my bike. I, I knew that bike. I knew it. Why? Because I worked. I dreamt about that bike. I thought about that bike. I prayed that God would get me that bike. And that my bike was. And the guy come out, he was like 17 times bigger than me. And got on my bike. Y'all ain't going to say nothing to me. I say he's 10 times bigger than I was, and he gets on my bike. So now I'm, 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 I got to make a decision. Whether I'm going to confront the man about my bike, or whether I'm just going to keep walking like I was doing. I decided, keep on walking. But on the way back home, I could swear I heard a voice say, I'm going to give you another one. Yeah, y'all, y'all missing my, I'll give you another one. Now, in that moment in time, what I learned is sometimes you got to give up something that's dear to you. In order to get the next thing God want to give you. Do I, have any, do I have any witnesses that know what I'm talking about in here? So, 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 there were some things during this season that was lost. But God said, I'm going to give you another one. I'm going to give you some more. Oh, y'all can go in and praise it. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to deliver you. Y'all, I don't hear you up in here. Say, God ain't forgot me. Woo! Glory. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, during the time that the bike was taken, it was a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. And, and I can't even remember being a little upset with Jock and God. Because if Jock would have been so lazy. And God, he sees everything. So, and so I just kind of learned that, that it, if, if you lose it. And God is watching. That means he has a plan. Say he, y'all ain't say, say he's got a plan. Say it. Come on, y'all ain't saying it. Say God has a plan for my life. Say it. God has a plan for my life. I want you to say it again. God has a plan. God has a, God has, say it again. God has a, come on, come on, come on. God has a plan. Now watch this. Watch this. And so, just, I want, you to, I want you to see me. So everything that was lost, God say, just let it go. Come on. Say something. God, I let it go. 
I, I, I release it. Come on, come on, y'all ain't doing it. Y'all ain't doing it. Y'all ain't doing it. Come on, so I let it. I let it go. Come on, say I just I let that go. I let that go because listen, because what he's doing, he's making room. I'm gonna be 150 percent prophetic today. Say he's making room for me. Come on, come on, come on. He, he's he's making room for the new thing. Come on, he, he's making room even in my spirit. Come on, he's discarding some. Y'all ain't saying nothing. He, he's he's moving some things out to put some new things in. Now I'm tell you something. On Tuesday night, God called Gerald to this altar and told him, don't worry about your boy. He said, don't give up on him because I ain't through yet. Wait, wait, wait. But it's dire. It's, it's how you going to work that? Because I'm God. I want you. I want you to. I want you to follow me. I want you to hear. Say, I, He's God. Say, He's God. He's God. Can you say it like you mean it? He's God. He's God. He's. So sometimes we say, "Well, how are you gonna replace that?" God said, "I got it." So I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you, nothing's broken and nothing's lost. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. And so, so watch this right here. Watch this right here. I'm being, can I just be honest? I'm being 100% transparent. So, uh, we got responsibilities, right? And my responsibility is this church and my house. Huh? Huh? Y'all got responsibility. Right? So now watch this right here. So if you only got $40, you got only so much can go around. Oh, y'all ain't going to talk to me. So four or five times I got pissed off at y'all. I said, because they ain't giving, and, 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 and the rents do, rents do, we got all this stuff do. And, and the Lord said, well, I'm here. <laughs> Boy, y'all ain't, y'all, y'all ain't hearing nothing. He said, I'm, I'm here. I got you. Huh? Light still on? Gas on? We even got better internet now. But now watch this. Through it all, all these windings and curves and hills and peaks and valleys, y'all ain't saying nothing to me. God was like, I got you. Uh, But, 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 I got you. But, 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 what about, I got you. And then one day he told me, he said, go back to you, what you used to do. Go to bed. Y'all ain't say, so, so I, I just got in my, I'm telling you, before a week, I just, stay, I just laid there, just laid there like free Whitley in my bed. Huh? And when every, every time it would get low, here come God. Every single time. With your ties or without them. Woo. So now, I learned something. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Pastor Shar. Some powerful stuff. I was there in the bed. And the Bible says that God will not do anything in the earth until he first reveals it to his prophets. So what he says the word. And so... She gets sick. She's in a hospital, and things ain't looking good. And the Lord, and so the Lord, uh, the Lord said, "I'm getting ready to take her." I said, "Wait, wait, 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 wait." 
I said, the family ain't ready. Please. This is what I'm going to tell you exactly what I said to God. I said, if I got any credit, if I got any credit, if I got any credit with you, I want you to raise her up. I said, no, 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 no. And he said, oh, y'all ain't going to talk to me. Everything around me was chaotic. Money's low. Everything is crazy. But God, hold it. She said, I said, if I get any credit, not power, credit, because it's his power. Ooh, I said, credit, if I get any, if I get any credit on the, on the books, I want you to raise her up. The next morning, I get a text from her. She said, doing better. Y'all, y'all ain't going y'all, y'all. I'm, I, I'm so tired of y'all. Now, what was the thought here? What was the idea here? The, the enemy wanted us to forfeit our position in God, and I really believe that 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 he talked to God about his church. I believe that the devil told God, I can make them curse you to your face. And God said, bad. We wasn't perfect. We were faithful. Oh, y'all ain't going to say nothing. And a whole lot of time, we were limping, but we still serving him. Oh, y'all ain't going to say nothing to me. Come on, didn't understand, didn't, didn't get it, but we kept, y'all ain't saying nothing. We, we just kept serving him and we just kept on believing him. And y'all, y'all ain't saying nothing. And every night I would put my hand up and tell him, God, I love you. Woo! I love you. Hey, hey, hey. I love you. I believe you. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. So when you read in the scripture where David said, I had to learn how to encourage myself. If you had to encourage yourself at least one time, let me see your hands. Then you ought to say, God, I thank you for the encouragement. Because it was the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. If I gave the mic to everybody in this room, you would have a testimony of something that God, y'all ain't saying nothing to me. That's something that God done. Come on, didn't he do it? I don't hear you. I said, didn't he do it? Hey, he did, he did, he did. And, and so listen right now that you get the person that you're sitting next to on both sides that listen that person has just went through hell She said, I quiet y'all. I said, the person sitting next to you on either side just went through hell. They just got back from hell. But you know what? I'm going to tell you this right here. But there is no smoke smell. Y'all don't even get it. You know what? Listen to this. Listen to me. It's amazing that God can give you a miracle and you don't even realize it. Do you know you should be dead? Do you know that all of us should be dead? Girl, this thing was airborne. You should tell him thank you for the great things you've done. I said you ought to tell him thank you for the great things 
He's done. So, so listen, I, I'm getting, listen, I'm serious about this. I didn't get very many calls. Somebody encouraging me. I didn't say I didn't get none. I decided I didn't get very many. But you know what? I got the Holy Ghost. You got the Holy Ghost. That's all you need. Say yes, God. Can you say I thank God for the Holy Ghost? Say I thank God for the Holy. Say I thank God for the. I don't hear you. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Y'all, y'all ain't doing. I'm getting y'all getting on my nerves. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Who will lead me to all truth and understanding? I thank God. He kept talking to me. He kept encouraging me. He kept blessing me. Woo! Hey, 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 hey! Ay, 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 ay. Do you realize? Do you realize? Do you realize that you were free? Before the pandemic, you could go anywhere you wanted to go whenever you got ready to go. And then one day they told you to stay at home. So you walk around in your house all day long for days at a time. And you can feel the pressure. The pressure in the agony pressing against your spirit and pressing against your mind but the Holy Ghost kept sending his peace oh I wish I would come on go with me he, he, he kept sending his comfort because he is the comforter tell him you love him ay 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 you know we find out let me tell you what let me tell you what we find out he'll never leave you nor forsake you oh we he might feel like it but it is not in his ability to leave you Woo. somebody say he showed up come on say he showed up Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I want you to think. I want you to think. I want you to think. Some of y'all were laid off. Some of y'all didn't have a job. Some of y'all still don't have a job. But he's still making a way. Ain't he good? It's going to be all right. He lives. He lives. He lives. I'm, I'm telling you for probably 40 years of my life, I was at church. I, I was just that, just there. And then for, for us not to be able to come to this old building and it got somebody like even missing the carpet. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. I know y'all don't get it. I miss driving, getting on 169 and <laughs> I wish I had a witness in here. Come on, somebody say, didn't he do it, 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 didn't he do it. Didn't he make a way? Come on, I don't hear you. Didn't he make a way? I want to, I want you to, I want you to look back. Didn't he make a way? Oh, yeah. He got so good through that. Ooh, it's bad furniture.
Because he's God. Did you hear what I say? He's God. He's God. Somebody say he's God. He's he's God and he's he's being himself. Come on. Are, are you listening? Listen. On some Sundays, on some Sundays, offering was like six hundred dollars in rent due. Huh? I said, God, what are we gonna do? And so God would say, go, go and uh, go, go in, in your overdrive. And he just kept doing it, man. He just, every time I turned around, he was making a way. Y'all don't understand every time. He would give me money. He said, listen, so I want you to go to the store and load it up. I really understood the meaning of storehouse during this pandemic. Because folks would come by and we would give them soap and food and towels. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. I said, God, you're just so faithful. I mean, even right now, we can't. Ain't nothing up, ain't, we don't have nowhere to put nothing. Because God got everything for. Are you listening? He's faithful. Say it. He's faithful. Say it like you mean it. He's faithful. You don't need a cheerleader, a cheerleader. I said he's faithful. I was listen, I was I was late paying the house rent. Now who does this? The landlord called me, he said, Come, 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 come in my office. He said, Don't worry about the rent this month. He said, I'm a he said, I'm gonna take the money out of your deposit. He could have said, get out. Boy, y'all know y'all ain't excited about it. But I am. Did you hear me? I said, he just, he kept on doing it. And then he told me one day, he said, he said, he said, so I know they ain't giving. He said, I know. He said, because they're scared. He said, but I don't love them any less. He said, but me and you, we good. I know y'all don't understand that. He said, me and you, he's, we good. I got you. And if I wanted to go out of town, the money was there. Y'all just y- 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 hear what I said. I said, when I wanted to go out of town, the money was there. Huh? I'm telling you, God, he just, he keeps doing it. It was a water, it was a water leak. Water line broke, little pinhole. Do you know this, this building could have been full of water? But we came in and we had got some wet vax and vacuumed it up and went on. Are you listening? Because he's good. Can you say he's good? good. That's weak. Can you say he's good? good. And I want you to put your hands up but I want you to tell God thank you. I want you to I want you to I want you to tell God thank you with so much sincerity in your heart because because somebody didn't make it Somebody went homeless. Come on, you need to worship. Come on, you need to worship him. Come on, you need to worship him. Come on. You should worship. 
worship Him. Come on. Ooh, He's good. Come on. You worship Him for what He did for you. Now watch this. I'm finna mess you up. Do you remember when when uh, it was, I think it's right kind of towards the end of 2020? And remember I came in I, and I had gone to Oklahoma City. I was in the swimming pool and the Lord uh, started talking to me about creating the atmosphere for the possibilities of miracles. You remember we, we was on that real, real strong. Remember that? You remember that? No, 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 no. I need you to remember that. You remember that? You remember that? You remember that? Do you know the reason why we're still in this building? It's because the atmosphere was created. See, y'all be tripping, man. Come on, you should thank him. Come on, you should thank him. So he told us to create the atmosphere. And we was pressing on it and pushing on it and praying about it and, and worshiping about it. And, and next thing you know, here come this pandemic. That's why we were sustained. There's another spot you ought to praise. But I said, that's why we were sustained. Because God sent the word way before it even took place. Come on, you should thank him. Woo. Now listen, I want you to look at your neighbor. Just look at him and say, you all right? You good? You good? You good? You good? And tell them, praise the good on you. Woo. Come on. Come on, tell them, praise the good on you. Come on. I said, praise the good. So good. So good. So good. Woo. listen I want you to hear me you listening we can honestly say that God protected us you should say that say God protected me oh that's so weak it listen if you think it was your mask, it wasn't. It was the goodness of God. Oh, that's weak. I said it was the goodness of God. Huh? Did you hear me? So, some of y'all used to have to get in your car every morning and drive to the office. Now, a lot of y'all work and hit, you just put your robe on and go in the next room and you at work. Huh? Some of y'all, y'all's, y'all's daycare bills went all the way down through the floor. Uh, you ought to thank him. I, I said you ought to thank him. And so I just went to looking at all the things that I could see that God done for us. I'm telling you, we serve a good God. 
you should say it. We serve a good God. That's so weak. I said we serve a good God. I said we serve a good I said we serve. I said we serve a good God. Amen. And, and so you need to go and get your gratitude, your honor, your respect for your God. Are you listening to me? He did more than we could ever expect. Wish I had a witness. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Do you know he didn't have to do it? We got to stop being so simple. God made sure that the devil didn't take you out of here before your time. I said, God made sure. Are you listening to me? And so we serve a good God, and God just kept on blessing us. So uh, get that uh, Hebrews 10, 32. I promise you, I got about another 20 minutes, and I'm out of here. I think I, I, I might have a few words for a few people. Depends on if they pay their tithes tonight or today or not. Please. I said he's good. Yes, God. Who's going to read for me? Brandon, you're going to read. Amen. 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 God, I thank you. Oh, and, oh, I'm, and I, hope, I hope Jessica uh, Betts don't get mad when I say this, but on Tuesday night, we, we, we ministered that the Lord said that you were going, people are going to get raises. Well, on Wednesday morning she got hers see it's just right. Justin would call me and say hey man we got 4,000 a day and, and, and we got a thousand a day and we got this I say well I'm, I'm coming to your house <laughs> say man is on the way I, I said say man is on the way say man is say man is on the way say it again say man's on the way Say, say it again, say mine is on the way. So, so, so it, it, it's just that you, you ain't supposed to be getting a raise during the pandemic because companies say they ain't got no money to get no raise. But Jessica can say, well, I got mine. Amen. See, listen, if you can't celebrate with her because she got hers, something wrong with you. Now look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Right. And say this. Say, say, listen to me. It's going to be all right. Can you say it again? Say it's going to be all right. Boy, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it was something going on with my belly. Uh, it was a couple of months ago, but my belly was towed up, Jack. I mean, I was cramping and I was crazy and I wasn't feeling good. And I would say, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. You know how you say, oh God, oh. Uh. Yeah, do I got a witness? 
just feeling sick. Uh, and the Lord would say to me, just lay down. Why do I want me to lay down? Because you're getting in my way. Oh, y'all ain't going to say that. Some things that God God will do, he, he'll get you out of the way. He'll have you somewhere occupied with something else while he'll would have worked in your business for you. You ought to tell him thank you. I said you ought to tell him thank you. You ought to tell him. you y'all, See to me, see to me, y'all ain't doing right. You ought to tell him thank you for real. Now listen, sit, 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 sit. Let me hit this and 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 and, and, and we're gonna get out of here. So so now. See, when you go to thinking back on where you were and where you were, where you're at right now, it kind of makes you want to praise him. Uh, Do you realize, li listen to me, do you realize that not one member that attends this church did not die, not one, not one, not one, now we can testify. Now, y'all going to get this after a while. I, I told, I told Pastor John, I, I said, to be honest, I, I don't know how many then left. I don't know how many folk left. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know. I said it's the best thing. We, we just gonna open the thing back up on the leading of the Holy Ghost, and we just gonna see what happened. 
Well, I looked up and y'all didn't hear this morning. Now, I, I want to let, uh, let me hit this. Y'all sit down. Let's sit down. Y'all got to be nice. And these folks, church, be nice. That's what I'm saying. When you realize you how much hell you just been through, make you want to throw your hands up. I don't know what y'all waiting on. I really don't. But he deserves the glory and the honor. We lift the hands. As we praise your holy name, yes we do. Tell the Lord you love him. Tell the Lord you love him. You deserve the glory and the honor. And we lift our hands in worship as we praise your holy name.
we? Tell him you love him. Oh, heaven. Heaven, yeah. Heaven. 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 It's like heaven. Heaven. Come on. Hebrews 10.32 Hebrews 10.32 Can you please stand for the reading of the word Just real quickly just stand to your feet Brendan I want you to read just that first verse And then we'll sit down 10.32 Hebrews 10.32 But call to remembrance the former days In which after ye were illuminated he endured a great fight of afflictions. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. If I was going to label this or title this, I would title it, I went through it. Whew. Say, I went through it. Can anybody take, it, take that from me? 
Hello. We've learned to endure things that we never thought we could endure. And one thing, we're staying in the house. <laughs> huh? And you know what if we find out uh, how much Walmart is a part of our lives? Walmart, well, when they said it was, they was closing at, what, 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock? I, was, I had to pray for my heart. To, to, to. And then when they said, we're going to open up, we're going to close that night, I gave God praise. And then they said, 10, I gave them some more praise. When they said they love, I just wanted to shout it. Amen. Because as long as it's there, you're cool. But when they say it ain't there, and then you're all upset. Amen. I don't even like Walmart. They, don't, they ain't right. But we need them. Amen. Brandon, you ready? So I want you to hit that 1032 again. Okay, God bless y'all. Just, just sit right there. Don't move. Just sit right there. I ain't going to be long. All right. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor John. Amen. Can I tell you I'm so happy and glad and excited about seeing everyone of your faces. I love you. I appreciate you and all that you have done uh, during this pandemic. And some of y'all didn't do nothing, but we still love you too. Some of y'all saying that was a dig. It was. All right, Brandon, go ahead. But call to remembrance the former days in which after ye were illuminated, ye endured a great fight of afflictions. Now, uh, you know that I, what I didn't realize is that we still have some unsaved traits of what we used to do. Wish I had a witness. And as long as we were <coughs> occupied doing working, <coughs> occupied going to church and occupied going to praise and worship rehearsal and we didn't have a lot of time to think about you know uh, yesterdays you know yesterdays you know back in the day and now I remember a couple of days there I was I would say man I I can just taste W.L. Wellers I said, what is that? I, where, where you coming from? What you doing? <laughs> you coming to visit? <laughs> oh, Lord. I, I had done that well as in 40 years. But there were some things and I could feel trying to manifest in my flesh from the old days. Can anybody agree with what I'm, what I'm talking about you? You know, some of y'all used to smoke, and, and you would get, get by the cigarette aisle, you would kind of slow down. <laughs> yeah. <It> was <laughs> oh, Lord. And then somebody you knew just walk, walk, walk behind you. Say, hey, hey, honey, how you doing? I'm blessed. The Lord is so good. And you were thinking about your package of cigarettes. Anybody know what I'm talking about? That's that old man. That's that old man trying to resurrect or trying to uh, reconnect. Are you listening? Uh, because uh, there, was, there was some space made in your spirit uh, because uh, God wasn't as loud as he was before. Do you realize that there are times and seasons where you have to live in the silence of God? And you got to remember the last thing he said to you and just stay right there and don't move. Come on. And if you are real rooted and grounded in the things of God, you know what? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Now, when the, when the, pan, I need a plate. When the pandemic first started, I was right in the middle of the wheel. By the end of it, I was kind of, <laughs> I kind of out there by the edge a little bit. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. Uh, because... It was never intended for us to be out of his presence. 
Are you following me? It was never, that was never his intent. And so one day he asked me, I'm at, at the house. He said, am I here? I said, yeah, you're here. He said, am I really here? Yeah, you're here. Do you believe I'm here? Yeah, I believe you're here. You didn't get all that out of your spirit. So I have my struggles too. Am I the only one that had just, I mean, can I? Can you just go and admit, you know, I was, this is a little rough one. You know, you wanted to drop a, found out the club was open and you wanted to go drop it like it was, I, I need to. And I, I ain't telling no Holy Ghost quickening either. <laughs> you had to go out there and, and, and cut the rug. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm going to go down here to the happy hour after work. You know, at the end of my job, they want to go to the happy hour. No, Negro, you wanted to go to the happy hour. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you want to go by yourself and sit at the bar by yourself. Anybody been there? You had to deal with it? You see, you see what I'm saying? And so that's because it is important that the presence of God is real in your life. So, so, something else I found out that I felt my mind vasculating back and forth. And, 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 oh, and that's not, y'all gonna let me walk around with my pants on zip and say that? Y'all don't wanna see that, cause it's, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll be myself. Uh, yeah, yeah, tear it up, boy. I say, my God, Bishop. I, there, when God revealed himself to you, he gave you a revelation who he is to you say to me say it again to me and so God didn't reveal uh, himself to me like he revealed himself to Mel or uh, revealed himself uh, to Zach or Chris God revealed himself to me where I needed him the most at that time that he revealed himself to me where I needed him the most and so uh, God could have uh, 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 healed your body that was illumination. That was a revelation. God could have gave you a promotion on a job that you didn't necessarily qualify for. That's another revelation or illumination. So there were some things in this season have th that's been illuminated, but we missed it. Are you listening? Can I tell y'all, do y'all remember what, was it last week it was snowing? And, was it last week or week before last? Okay. Do you realize how cold it got? Do you realize it was cold from cold on every corner of America? Do you realize that? Now, so this, I'm going to tell you what the Lord told me. I ain't preaching this for doctrine. But God said, I'm killing Corona. I'm killing it. They were talking about they were talking about wearing these masks, wearing the masks, wearing the masks. Now we were cold. And you know where we were? We were at home. But you walk out, but you walk outside in your in your in the liquid that's in your eyes froze. <laughs> huh? You know what I'm talking about? It's cold. So God said, I'm freezing it. I'm freezing it, and I'm causing y'all to be still. What I tell y'all? He said, go into the chamber, close the door, and watch it, and let judgment pass. So he froze this thing. Now you notice that the numbers are coming down. Are you, are you saying? See, we want to take the credit. You know, we want to, I know they're doing the, with with them thing? The vaccines, I get it, I, I, I know, but God done something. 
I know in Tulsa, we ain't seen that kind of winter in years. I mean, the snow even looked different. I mean, it was, yeah, it was like, it was like what? The snow was looking at me like, what, what, what? I went out there with my little shovel, and I'm going to clean out my driveway. And I did it like three. I thought, oh, you're the devil. I'm going to nine. I can kill myself fully with this here. It'll be going in a few days. <laughs> but there was, a, there was a revelation. God revealed himself to you. Uh, at, at one day in time, he revealed who he was to you. Are you listening? And so after you, after you got that revelation, if you notice that hell opened. So now, if God told us to uh, prepare the atmosphere for the possibility of miracles, then that means that we finna go through something beforehand. So he said, get ready, because I'm getting ready to do something. And then in January, he said, go to the grocery store, something coming. And so, and so those of us who don't care anything about illumination or revelation, or you are the ones that got in the most trouble. Are you listening to me? All right, read on. Brandon, please, sir. All right, but call to remembrance. Hold, 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 hold on. So that was his fault or your fault? Whose fault is it? It was my fault. Oh, okay. My God bless you. <laughs> he said, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but call to remembrance. Hold, hold, hold on a minute. And so you had to endure a great fight of affliction. We have just been afflicted. It probably ain't nobody in this room that didn't have some level of corona. Read on. But call to remembrance the former days in which after ye were illuminated, ye endured a great fight of afflictions, mm -hmm. partly while she were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions. So, so, so you you went through. Look, look at me. You went through something that was very intense, and a lot of us had to process it in our own way. The the children processed being at home, and be, I felt so sorry for them because they sitting at a, a computer screen all day long. Now, see, in my day, I would have took a hammer and just bust the thing up. Huh? And then you couldn't afford to pay the cable bill or the internet bill, but you had to have it, even though you couldn't afford it. Afflicted. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And so money was up here, now it's down here. Afflicted. Hello? Now watch this. Now, Paul is talking about himself, right? Now, I want, I want to show you something. Read on. And partly while she became companions of them that were so used. Uh -huh. For he had compassion of me in my bonds and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods. Okay, so let me break this down. Because you are affiliated with the anointing that's on my life. That's what it just boils down to. You are affiliated with a very high anointing. Affiliation. And you sow into it. What some of y'all did. You sow. I ain't going to stop. So don't stop, stop saying stop. Because I ain't going to stop. You ought to feel convicted. You. You. Your. Your, your, your seed, your love, your compassion for me. So my fight became your fight. Are you following me? Your fight became my fight. My fight became your fight. Yes, sir. 
You understand? But it's because you are associated with a high anointing. Please make no mistake about it. This is the real deal. Are you listening? This is the real deal. So because of that, there are some things that you have experienced just because of your association. Read what it say. Go back to the, uh, the gazing stop. Partly, partly whilst ye were made a gay. See style. everything. God. Now you see, he, he's the best reader in this building. You see how everybody's struggling? He just got dumb overnight. I'm telling you, dumb overnight. Go, go ahead and read, preach. Partly whilst ye were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly whilst ye became companions of them that were so used. Keep going. For ye had compassion of me in my bonds. That's me. And took joyfully the spoiling of your goods. So there are some, look at me. I want to bless you today. There are some things that you lost. Time. You couldn't go on vacation. Hello. You couldn't go to the graduation. You couldn't go to the birthday party. I'm going to keep going. You just couldn't do it. You couldn't go to the football game, the basketball game, the hockey game, the rascal. Everything was Cut off. You hearing me? It was cut off. Keep reading. What did it say? Knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and an enduring substance. Cast not away therefore your so, confidence. So, so watch this. But you considered God. You considered the ways of God and you stayed with the principle as much as you could. Ooh. You listening? Now watch this. The other day I was, I was laying in my bed. And the Lord said to me, he said, I want you to believe me for $30 million. I mean, can we start with like 10000 He said, believe me for, for, 10 million, uh, for, for $30 million. When he said that to me, I remembered a promise that I made to this church. I said, when God bless me, I'm going to bless you. If you remember this church and you've been faithful, you got a house coming. You got a... I'm sick of y'all. I mean, that's such of a weak praise. I ain't seen nothing like this. Somebody tell me that they're going to buy me a house and I tell them, <laughs> something wrong with you. I'm not trying to buy you, but I'm trying to show you I appreciate you. So there were some things that you lost, but but you acquired a better relationship and a better revelation of God. And from God, hello, he's sown and, be, and has bestowed some things uh, upon your life. Keep reading. What did it say? Keep reading. For ye had compassion of me in my bonds uh -huh. and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and an enduring substance. Read. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. So now, your, your, now I want you to hear me right here. It's very, very important. Your confidence has been touched. When you were sharp in hearing the voice of God, accurate in hearing the voice of God, now we... Mm, Is that, is, that, is that me dreaming? I've been through it. You, you understand? That's why I knew I said now, if the, if the devil is got me second guessing, 
I know it's time for us to get back. Because I know that, that y'all are being affected a whole lot more than I am. Oh, y'all ain't going to say that. Read what it say. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. That word recompense means requittal or repayment. God going to say, God going to pay me back. Say it. Say it again. Say it again. Now, now watch this. A test. A test. A test. I tell you all the time. You don't know when you're in a test until it's over. And I'm going to tell you something. God, now, we got some people that go to this church that make some money. That's something I've, I've always prayed. I believe that if you give it to God, I want God to bless you. I, that is, and I, I am constantly praying uh, to the Father to bless you when you sow. Because it's nothing like sowing and nothing happens. So it is important to me that if you're going to give, I want God to, in a hurry, real fast, give it back. But now, God doesn't always give it back like you think it's coming back. He could have stopped a semi-truck from hitting your car. Hello, when you went to the doctor and they seen a lump and they said, but it ain't, mal is it malignant? It ain't malignant. Benign, it's benign. That was God manifesting. Are you listening to me? And so, and so it doesn't always come back the way of the, uh, in, in the form that you gave it. But just know that God is working it out for you. Say God is working it out for me. Say it. He's working it out for y'all. Ain't saying it right. He's working it out for me. Keep reading. What did it say? For ye have need of patience. Uh -huh. That after ye have done. So what happened? So what happened? So, so God took us through years and years and years and years of teaching, and he's something to get quiet for a year. I'm going to see if you got it. I'm going to see if you can hear me. I'm going to see if you can still work the principle. Hello? I'm going to see if you can still work the principle. Good job, but no faith. Or good job, but my faith is in my job. Ooh, wee, wee. Now, when, 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 when God smites the job, then you want to go back and pull out the principle. And God said, you're going to have to wait. Because I got I to gotta go back and train you again about the principle. Now, I'm going to show you something. Oh, God. When God blesses you, financially blesses you what we do is we take the blessing and negate God but to keep the blessing continuous you got to keep sowing God bless I sow 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 God bless, I sow. God bless, I sow. It's an exchange. And that's how you keep it perpetual. Now, I don't have a choice. Y'all didn't just hear what I said. You got a job that pay you every two weeks. I got a job that might and might not. It was through other relationships that I have developed with other people and other ministries and other folk that they said, it's time to sow into him. It's time to sow into him. I'm, 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 people are calling me. And what's God saying about this? And here's the word, the word, the word. I give them the word. I'm going to send you five. I'm going to send you three. I'm going to send you two. It just kept on happening over and over and over again. Why? Because your gift will make room for you. God close the door, look for a window. God close the window, look for a door. 
Are you following me? And so if you, if you have really uh, have partaken of my spirit, of my spirit, of your leader's spirit, then you know you should always give. If you partake of my spirit. If you really have. Hello? Now, there are some people that sit in this room right now that I can get in a wallet anytime I need to. Yes, sir. Well, that's control. And yeah, that's manip- No, no. It's called, they got a revelation. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. And so we are workers together with the Lord. Now, in good conscience, I couldn't. Now, it came to my mind 452 million times. Let it go. This building, just let it go. We, we're paying for a building full price. Hello? Full price. The lights, the gas, the water. Hello? Full price. Every month. Something that we couldn't afford to do. But the Lord said, if you close it, where are the people going to go? So now I got a building just in case y'all decide to come back. Are you listening? And so here I am saying my confidence has been shaken. Because I'm on the front line of this. I'm having the conversations with folk. <laughs> I'm, I'm dealing with, with, with uh, uh, making major decisions on what to do and how to do it and who to pay and when to pay it and how much to pay and making arrangements. When the people stop. Using the principle. Wow. Some of y'all just stopped. Just quit. I said, wow. A gazing stop. They, they, they picked up, they picked up Ramaya's car. The, the uh, diffusion. He went and got it back. You understand? I, I'm, I, 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 we're supposed to be in this together. Then I figured out this is why pastors walk away. Because their whole life is tied up in it. Somebody say gazing stop. Read what it says. So he said, you, need, you have need of patience. Read what it say. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. So, so uh, this is kind of an indication that when you give, it don't always come back immediately. It might leave your wallet, but it has not left your life. Are you following me? Are you following me? If we would have let this church go, they would have said them. You know who them are? You know who just them? The folk that hate us. Some haters out there. Some folk that wish we would close and wish we would quit. But they would have said, told you. Told you. Told you. Told you. Read what it say. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come uh-huh. and will not tarry. Keep on. Now the just shall live, live by faith. By faith. Look at me. Please hear me. Your job don't mean nothing. Uh, we were at 13, 14% unemployment. Was that what the number was? 
it was probably the highest unemployment rate that we've ever seen in America. Or the many, 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 many years. Some of y'all was changing jobs, going to another job. Ramaya left a job, went to another job, right in the middle of a pandemic. Zach, that one right there. Who else? That one. Who else? Chelsea. Who else? Who else? Stacia. She left the P people and, and got another job. She don't have to move forward with the P no more. God bless her, man. Are you listening? Some of y'all got promoted. If you think, if you think that just happened just because it happened, something wrong with you. You have somebody interceding and praying and, and keep keeping that thing open up for you where you can swivel on through there. We were working and praying and interceding and asking God to keep making a way. The idea is God bless you, you bless the house. That's how it works. You bless, you get blessed, you bless the house. That, that's the only way this works. I prophesy the job, the better job, and you get the money and you bring the money. That's how it works. Some of y'all saying, well, I didn't know that. Well, you know today. Read what it say. Now the just shall live by shall faith. Shall live by faith. Your faith, faith is all you got. And if you build your faith on something that is real, your job is not real. Y'all ain't, yeah, that just went over y'all's head. I know folk that work on jobs 20, 30, 40 years. And they will lay your behind off. And, and, and will not give you a severance package, but tell you bye, bye. So what that tell you? It is just, that's all it is. But God is eternal, and he'll never leave you, nor will he forsake you. What, read what it say. Now the just shall live by faith. Uh -huh. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in Did him. Did you hear that? The reason why we had to hear up and get back in here, because a lot of us was right there. Woo! That, 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 before the devil hit it, took his last blow. God said, go back. Got to go back. Now, there's some folk. Is saying, well, I ain't going back because of Corona. I ain't going back. But they go to Walmart. They go to Target. They go to lunch. They go to work. Are you, are you listening to what I'm saying? So if it's going to immediately or just in that moment, if it's going to affect me and my wallet, I'm going. If, if somebody told you there is a billion dollars in that house over there, but it's corona all over the place. I'm going down there to the, to, what is it? Uh, to PP, what is it? Uh, PPE, what is it? PPE, I'm going to get me some PPE. Uh, I'm going to get me some, uh, uh, some, some, uh, some, a whole bunch of Lysol, and I'm going to have y'all to dash it on me. <laughs> huh? And I'm going in there, and I'm going to get that billion, and I'm going shopping. And if you was helping me uh, get ready to go in there, uh, are you going with me? If you sat back there and look, I said, well, I'll, I'll think about you later. We'll, we'll see what we're going to do for you because you ain't did nothing. <laughs> we were almost at, I'm talking about the whole body of Christ. We were almost at the point where we were getting ready to enter into an evil heart of unbelief. We were right there. And that's why it is important. We got to understand, so we got to hear the voice of God. Did you hear me? 
Got to know his voice. You got to obey his voice. Hello? Do you know if Corona was going to take you out, it already got you? You can say what you want to say. It was going to get you. It already got you. I told him on Tuesday, it was some folk that never left their house, ended up with Corona. They never left their house. It's airborne. He bahasa. Read what it say. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. So we trust God. Say, I trust God. Say it. Now you can say it better than that, can't you? Don't, don't, don't say it like you're mad. Say, I trust God. Say it again. Say, I trust God with all of my heart, with all of my soul. And all that is within me, I trust God. No matter what. I don't care how high, how low, I trust God. Say, I trust him. Come on, say it. Come on, I want you to encourage yourself. Say, I trust God. Say, say it again, I trust God. Say, I trust him, I trust him. I trust him, I trust him, I trust him. I trust him. I trust God. Say it. I trust. Say it again. I trust God. Say it again. I trust him, I trust him, I trust him. Say it. I trust God. Some of y'all ain't even saying it. Even I don't care how hot I get, I trust God. I don't care how angry I get, I trust God. I don't care how sick I get, I trust God. Y'all ain't saying that. Say, I trust him. Y'all ain't saying it. Say, I trust I want you to say it out loud. Say, I trust God. Say it. I tr say, I trust. Come on, say it. Say, I trust him. Say, say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. I trust him. I tr it gets hard, but I still trust him. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I, tr I trust him. I trust him. I trust him. I trust him. Say, I trust him. God is not a fair God. He's a just God. God doesn't honor tears, he honors faith. God don't honor frustration, he honors faith. Say, I trust him. Say it, I trust him. We had to believe God for this building. We had, y'all ain't hearing me. We had to believe God for this building. This building sat here empty for almost a year. And we had to trust him. Hello? We robbing Peter to pay Paul. And then Paul would call and say, well, Peter called me and said that y'all paid him. How come I ain't getting paid? I said, Peter lying. He did. <laughs> we ain't gave Peter no money. <laughs> we ain't gave Peter no money. He lying. Say, I believe God. Say it again. Say, I believe him. I want you to say it like you mean it. I want you to close your eyes and say, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. Now, now, I want to say this. If you did not do right in your giving during this pandemic, I don't want you to just, just want you to sit there, but on, your, on the inside, I want you to repent to God. I want you to just to repent. Okay? And that clears it up. Did you hear me? You know what? There are some pastors will say, if you miss paying your tithes, you should give a 20%, you got to pay a 20% interest. Do you know that's Bible? I'll find a scripture for you. 20% interest. Not a, 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 a non-tither. You are cursed with a curse. So this ain't the time to make a decision I ain't going to give. Hello. And, and listen. Uh, uh, if you came down here and worked. Uh, getting the building ready. Will you please stand if you came down here and worked. Getting the building ready. I want you to stand. Amen. John, why you? What you standing up? Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot, I forgot. Some of y'all couldn't come. I get it because you were, you were, you, were, you, were, you, were, you, were, you were working, but you don't work all night. But anyway, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. 
thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. Uh, evidence. <laughs> evidence. Huh? Oh, that's right. Yeah, he was here about 45 minutes, but it's, uh, God is good. He's good. He's still good. I get it. Some of y'all couldn't do it because you were, you were working. But my point is that God will always provide. Somebody going to show up. Stacia said she wasn't coming back because she wouldn't get no career. Yes, yeah, 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 she did. Yes, yeah, she did. You know what the Lord told me? He said, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, why are you here? Tell him. What do you say? God said, God, God. You know what she did? She... That's called trusting God. I got to trust God no matter what. I have faith in God. I have faith in God. So if you didn't, if you wasn't given, if you, if you were half doing it, just repent. Get that behind you. And let's start afresh. Is that good? Now, 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 now thank God for his mercy and his grace. That is so weak. Thank, thank God for real for his mercy and his grace. Amen. So now we, we are getting ready to um, raise a sacrificial offering today. And I mean, uh, uh, Charmaine, how many we got on Facebook right now? Huh? 28. Hey, y'all. I, listen to me. Listen to me. Uh, bring me them envelopes. Just, just, just bring them. Don't nobody write a check yet. Don't do nothing. Because I'm going to tell you what you're going to give today. God bless you. God bless you. How you doing? God bless you. I'm, I'm great. Huh? Uh, yeah, that would be nice. You didn't just t took my chair. Boy, you ought to be something else. This was the prophetic chair I used to sit out and prophesy in it and just, just, the, just, just took it, just took the chair. Oh, my God. I want y'all to pray for my back. You know, when you get old, you get the little, little, the little things and things. You know, I pray for, for Lionel's back, and uh, my back hurt for a long time. I was so mad at him. He didn't hurt my back. I want you to get I need, this is what I need for real. Oh, I'm sorry, Sherry. You're so obedient. I ain't got no money for you, but you get off. She, she, she praying for my back, y'all. I, I want, I want, I need 60 people to give $100. 60 people to give $100. I'm going to give 300 myself. Amen. And Chris is going to give 300. Amen. Yeah. Uh, Facebook, uh, Hulu, Netflix, uh, Michael Jackson. I want you to, I want you to reach in your it is dire we have we are behind on everything we got we're behind on it right now and i need everybody in this room god i thank you yes god somebody can do 500 somebody can do a thousand don't make me no difference oh na 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 bahasa glory I want you to go down I want you to dig as deep as you can dig today if you can do more than a hundred if you can do more than a hundred then do more than a hundred come here baby girl hand me my wallet right there right there 
God bless you. Help yourself. God, I bless you. With my wife. Hey, Hugo. Hold on a minute. I want to do three. I want y'all to understand something. This one seed is going to break the back of the enemy. And, 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 and listen, and God says, you're getting ready to recover all. It's some stuff that you lost. You even know you lost it. But God said, you're getting ready to recover all. God, I give you praise. Yes, God. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It won't work, no. No weapon formed against me. Yeah, I, we need you to make sure that you do an envelope. It, it helps with the, with our records. Nuggets, and we still do cash app and swipe. Weapon. It won't work. No weapon. For 